General Hospital's father teases that Sonny Corrento will find himself in an awkward situation after Sonny collides with Jax Heller and Jason Morgan. Previously, Sonny had a conversation with Colleen Spencer. The two were husband and wife in the past, but are now just friends. Sonny also mentioned that Sonny once forgave Jax instead of pushing Jax into a corner. That was when Sonny discovered that Jax betrayed Sonny. Although Sonny was very angry, he did not take action against Dex. Instead, Sonny just kicks Dex out of the Corinto organization, as well as bans Dex from returning to town. However, instead of accepting the outcome, Dex risked his life and returned to town. Not stopping there, Dex also joined the PCBD to work. Dex has now officially become a police official, and Sonny is furious with this news. Sonny regrets forgiving Dex before, and now Sonny doesn't want to miss the chance to get revenge on Dex again. Indeed, Sonny attacked Dex right at the wedding of Brooklyn Quarterman and Harris and Chase. Luckily for Dex, Jason Morgan promptly stopped it, because Jason had previously promised Johnson Jax that he would protect Dex, but Jason did not expect Sonny to act so quickly. Although Jason intervened, Sonny punched Dex in the face first. This meant that Jason felt to protect Dex's safety because he didn't want that to happen again. Jason followed Dex in secret. Sonny deliberately warned to Dex to apologize. The two met at the park, and Sonny took the initiative to speak. But Dex doesn't want to forgive Sonny. Then Dex also said that Dex wants to press charges against Sonny for attacking Dex before. Now Sonny will regret saying sorry to Dex. Sonny immediately changed his attitude and declared that he would not leave Dex alone. Jason was nearby and ready to rush out at any moment, but in reality, Sonny did not think and left. Jason also appeared later to talk to Dex, but after only a few short minutes. The two were ambushed by a stranger. Is it unclear whose henchman this person is? Is it hardly likely that they are members of Batman's group because she's an offended Batman? Or they could also be John Key's henchman because now John wants revenge on Sunny by framing him. This might work because Jax and Jason both truly believe that Sunny is the comrade. After this unexpected fight, both Jax and Jason were caught. Injure. Luckily, Kali and Jocelyn appear in time. The two contacted the police and medical staff, who arrive immediately afterward. After being questioned, both Jason and Dex confirm that Sunny attacked them. Now, the disadvantages situation belong to Sunny, because Sunny is living alone, so proving his innocence is too difficult. Even if Sunny truthfully reported what and where Sunny was doing during the time of the attack. No one came forward to testify to confirm this information for Sunny. Even though he was wrongly accused, Sunny could do nothing but keep quiet before the defense attorney arrived. By then, more and more people were convinced that Sunny was the comrade who attacked Jason and Jax.